Hey guys, welcome back. This video is on cartering. Cartering is a very popular SARM. That's not actually a SARM that people are taking right now, and so I want to cover it in this video. Um, SARMs are not meant for human consumption. I'm not suggesting or instructing you how to use them or taking them. I'm telling you don't take them. These are for your lab rats only. Um, if you need a legitimate source, link in the video description. Get a discount, discount code there. Uh, that's an ever updated list of companies that I trust. Most companies out there, more than half of them, are selling you something that is not actually what is on the label. Um, I've been over that in all of my videos in this series. Um, I can't stress enough how important it is that you're going to buy from a legitimate source for your lab rat. Uh, you never know what you're going to get if you buy from some random Swallow's Buck Labs. I mean, someplace like that, you know? Um, so, cartering has a bad rap because in lab tests, it's been associated with an increased rate of cancer in the test rats. Okay, so people have worried about increased cancer if they're going to take cartering. Um, that is one thing I have been concerned about, and so for myself, I, I really limit when I take it, how often I take it, and how long I take it when I'm taking it consistently. Um, I'm not too concerned about it personally because so much of what we're exposed to in life, um, whether it's, you know, radiation from your cell phone or, or whatever, you know, chemicals in the food, chemicals in the water. There's so many things out there that would cause cancer or could cause cancer that uh, to me, the risk from cartering is relatively low. And hopefully I don't get in trouble for saying that, but that's just my personal opinion for myself. Um, I do use it in my pre-workout occasionally. Um, I think it is phenomenal for that. The number one benefit to cartering is its performance enhancement in cardio. So when I take cartering, um, for me, 30 milligrams is where I really feel it. I can take 10 milligrams, let's say before sex, and it makes a huge difference as far as my um, uh, not getting winded, okay? But when it comes to actually doing cardio, I throw that in with my pre-workout, 30 milligrams of it, and I can do double the cardio, no problem. Um, and I feel like I, I did the same amount as always. So let's say normally I do 30 minutes, I can do an hour and I feel like I did 30, or maybe I feel like I did 20. I mean, the increase in cardiovascular endurance while I'm on it is absolutely mind-blowing. I can't put that in enough words. So, <clears throat> carterine is often associated with a cutting stack. Now, carterine is one of the few compounds out there that actually does have some research supporting that it increases fat loss. So if I understand the information correctly, basically it's increasing your me metabolic rate. Um, and so it kind of, it kind of works like, uh, I think clenbuterol is the one that would be close, most closely related to it. But anyway, so it does show some research proving that it's beneficial for losing fat. Um, it's been called exercise in a bottle. People that take it report fat loss. Now, I need to stress again that it's very important that if you're trying to focus on fat loss, that you're doing it in a calorie deficit with a cardio program, all right? Slow sustained cardio for a long period of time is generally best for your body and best for um, burning fat over a long period of time. Now, people always try to get results immediately, right? People are, are this is a fast food society, so we're always looking for a shortcut to burn us off as much fat as possible, as quick as possible. And that gives us a over dependence on PEDs such as cartering for fat loss. So my opinion on cartering is that you don't take it to lose fat. You take it so you can do more cardio to lose fat. And any additional fat loss you get from taking cartering obviously is a bonus, but you shouldn't be depending on that. All right. Like I said, the cardio output for myself and most people I've heard feedback from um, is just extremely enhanced when taking cartering. Now, obviously, you have to take into consideration the risk of an increased rate of cancer, although I haven't seen anything saying that it's actually uh, an issue in human test subjects. They actually quit experimenting with it when they saw the effect on lab rats, and so there's not really anything on cartering in humans over a long period of time that would indicate whether or not it's safe, <clears throat> which is kind of unfortunate. Um, that being said, it's probably not something you should take. Um, and like I've said for myself, when I do take it, it's sporadically in my pre-workout for a specific reason. I'm gonna do a cardio day or you know, an extremely intense weightlifting routine 
where I need to get that extra, gen, that extra oxygen in my system and uh, be able to complete more heavy sets than normal. For myself, though, um, well, I'll just throw this out there. You know, I'm a, I'm a combat vet. I've been exposed to a lot of things. I've been injected with a lot of things. I've been in combat zones. I've been exposed to all kinds of shit over there. You know, everything from stuff that's burning, breathing in this stuff. Um, I've been around radiation as far as, you know, electronic radiation from various military devices, you know, radiation from armor piercing rounds, all that kind of stuff. So for my own, uh, my own use of this kind of thing, I feel like uh, I have more risk of getting cancer from those things I was exposed to in the past than from cartering. And so I'm going to choose to use it myself sparingly, probably for the foreseeable future. And uh, hopefully it doesn't cause any side effect of increasing the risk of cancer. Uh, but it is a risk I'm willing to take to a degree. So please be careful guys, do your own research, think about the long term effects of these things. I know a lot of us guys get all excited about taking a PED and we don't think about what it's going to do to our body over a long period of time. You know, we might not see any side effects now, but what's going to happen, you know, 10 years down the road, we don't know. So keep that in mind. Thank you guys very much. I hope you're enjoying this series and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.